Hi, this is Jay Jero at you one more time, and this is another Anderson 1939 production. Today we're bringing to you the bad boy of the crew, the medic, the grumpy old man, Autobot Ratchet from Transformers Animated. As we have him featured here, you see him in both his Cybertron mode and his Earth mode. Go give you a little bit of history about him. Now, with his Cybertron mode, Obviously, this is an exclusive that you could pick up at one of your local stores and or online. And his Earth Mode, you could pick up at any of your local retailers. But getting back to the story, Cybertron Mode Ratchet is the original mode of Ratchet when he was on Cybertron back during the Great War. Ratchet, though he was a medic, many times was called out onto the battlefield to not only assist in repairing and getting Autobots off the field, but oftentimes having to get his hands dirty. Thus, leading to later on, his Earth mode once the Autobots did transcend and land on Earth. So sit back, relax, we gonna pop these open and do some side-by-side -side comparison and talk about features and details. Up next. Now right here, we have a side-by-side -side comparison of their vehicle mode. As you see, Autobot Ratchet in his Cybertron mode, spot-on, virtually identical to his appearance in Transformers Animated. And of course, you see his Earth vehicle mode as well. Both of the vehicles were done very, very nicely, but right now I'm going to focus a little bit on the Cybertron mode. As we look at the detail of this vehicle here, the treads and everything, how high he sits up and everything, really, really nice. I'm going to try and get a little bit of a different angle so that you can see basically how he's set up here. The vehicle mode looks really, really, really nice. See the detail on it is pretty tight. And like I said, virtually spot on to his appearance in the animated TV series. Now... As we go back and we switch over here to the Earth mode, pretty basic, again, basically done like it was in the animated series. Detail is pretty tight, but nothing to really, really write home about. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take another pause, and we're going to pop these babies and transform them, and see what they look like side by side, comparison and robot mode. All right. And now we have our boys posed out side by side. Now as we talked about the uh, Cybertron mode ratchet, a.k.a. the uh, Great War ratchet, he's a younger model. If you look at his face detail, I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit. My camera probably won't do it much justice. But he has a younger face, and as you see the crown on his head, he has a full crown on his head. Thus, this is pre-lockdown days. And you see he has his shockers in his hand, ready to jumpstart an Autobot's heart. And uh, he, looks pretty re he looks really, really nice in his detail mode here. And as I switch over here to the Earth War ratchet, you see he has an array of tools. He has a wrench, he has a cutting weapon, he has a hammer, he has a chisel weapon, and he's holding some uh, weapons in his hand. What's disappointing about him in this regard is... He didn't come with his magnets. The, the famous magnets that he always pulls out in the show, you have to actually order those separate. You can probably find them on eBay and or at some of the eBay stores where they'll be available for you. Unfortunately, we don't have them available for this display. But like I said, as a side-by-side -side comparison, you look at this ratchet, you can see his face is a little bit older, where again, He's now the more mature Ratchet, the Ratchet who's seasoned veteran, thus probably why he has more of a tool slash weapons array, because the man has seen some combat, and apparently he doesn't like those old memories. But getting back to the Cybertron mode, Ratchet, again, he is an exclusive that you will have to track down at one of your local retailers, and I'm telling you, you got to find some luck, because everywhere we went, he was sold out!
So you got to be on the hunt. Like I said before with the RC, you're going to be like a crack at it in the daytime with a flashlight and a magnifying glass trying to find him. But he is worth the find. As you can see, together, both of these guys pose out really, really nice. The detail on both of them is very, very attractive. And the posability and points of articulation at both the feet, the knees, the arms, uh, particularly with the Cybertron mode ratchet, he has more points of articulation because he can t uh, turn at the wrists, his arms, and he has other varying joints that are a little bit different from the Earth mode. But the Earth mode, again, poses out very, very nice, and they are very, very, very close, if not almost spot-on identical to their incarnations on the animated series. So, Big B and I, we grade these a 9.5, so if you're an animated enthusiast, you definitely have to put the ratchets in your collection. But, we ain't done yet. Coming up next, me and Big B, we gonna knock out a classic. Go keep it a little bit of a surprise, though. So, get ready for another Anderson 1939 production coming at you real soon. But as for now, this is Jay Giroux signing off. I ain't got to go home, but I'm getting the H-E double hockey sticks out of here. Peace out, people. And the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull!